Nearly three years since the pandemic started, the White House is announcing an end to a COVID era public health emergencies. Now the House will vote today to end the policies immediately. The move to discontinue two national emergencies will bring many changes to health care. Amy Liu is in Washington. Well, Patrick and Destiny, President Biden says he opposes the Republican resolutions to end these declarations abruptly, which could really upend the health care system, setting instead the deadline for May 11th. The changes following that day will impact people both on public and private insurance, meaning out of pocket costs for COVID health care like testing, vaccines and treatments once the national stockpiles are depleted. As many as 14 million people could lose their Medicaid coverage when continuous enrollment ends. Hospitals would also lose funding increases for treating COVID patients. The White House says ending the emergencies would discontinue Title 42, a COVID era immigration policy that stopped most asylum seekers at the border and lawmakers will consider these house bills today and on Thursday to end the COVID emergencies, which are not expected to pass the Democrat controlled Senate in Washington. I'm Amy Liu WYFF News 4. Vice President Kamala Harris stopped in downtown Raleigh yesterday to talk about small businesses. She touted the growth that's happened in the past two years. According to a report from the Census Bureau, 10.5 million small businesses were formed from 2020 to 2022. The VP also talked about the link between small businesses and the U.S. workforce. Small businesses employ half of America's workforce, either as the owner of or as an employee of. Small businesses are contributing to the economic health of our nation in a profound way. We are here with an emphasis. Well, there were also remarks about the low unemployment rates in the U.S. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, the U.S. has 3.5% unemployment rate. Meanwhile, the FAA has made a series of changes to prevent future computer system outages. The changes come after a corrupt file affected a database. The FAA relies on it to send critical information to pilots. Both the main system and the backup system were affected, and it disrupted more than 11,000 flights. Now, one of the changes prevents a corrupt file from reaching the backup database uh, and now requires at least two individuals to be pre present during the maintenance of systems check including one federal manager. Celsius fitness drinks skyrocketed in popularity in recent years, and now the company has settled a class action lawsuit over claims about the ingredients, and you could be getting some money. Celsius had promoted the beverage as being free of preservatives, but it turns out the products do in fact contain citric acid. However, the company says it's used as a flavoring and not a preservative. You have to have proof of purchase like a receipt to receive up to $250. Without a receipt, you can still get a $20 payment. You have until February 1st to submit a claim. At 652, Mercedes is the latest to jump into the self-driving car trend. The company's drive pilot systems allows the car to drive itself and the driver does not have to pay attention to the road at all. Although you might want to pay attention a little bit by using lasers to detect objects in the road instead of only cameras, it's able to take over. Other companies with self-driving cars still require the driver to pay attention. Mercedes plans to release this with its EQS and its S-Class models later this year, so stay tuned. Well, the popular sequel to Avatar continues to dominate the box office, spending a seventh weekend at the top spot, and it's swimming closer to a spot in movie history. Avatar, The Way of Water, just surpassed Star Wars, The Force Awakens, to become the fourth highest grossing movie of all time. So far, it's brought in more than $2.1 billion worldwide. Avatar, The Way of Water, is also nominated for four Academy Awards, including Best Picture. And Amazon is ending free grocery delivery for Prime members on orders less than $150. Customers who get their groceries delivered from Amazon Fresh will be charged about $4 to $10, depending on the order size. Amazon will continue to offer a two-hour delivery window for all orders. Currently, the company offers members free grocery deliveries on orders above $35. The decision to impose these new fees comes as the company attempts to trim some cost. The new policy begins on February 28th. Well, if you're hosting a Super Bowl party, you are in luck. Chicken wings are about 20% less expensive compared to this time last year. Analysts say this is due to better supply. Last year, a pound of wings cost nearly $4. 
Now that price is $2.65. Guacamole is also less expensive. Avocado prices are down 20%. But analysts say beer prices are up more than 10% this year. That's a shame. <laughs> a new study shows the scientific reason why some love chocolate so much. Researchers in the UK identified that it all comes down to the chemistry and how the outer layer of chocolate, which is mostly fat, melts in a person's mouth. Now scientists say when the solid cocoa particles break down, to sugar crystals, we get a rush of happy, boosting endorphins. The team hopes their findings will lead to some tasty new chocolates that are healthier. Huh. Huh. Does it need to be healthier? I mean, oh. it's just good all around. <laughs> all right, we'll check this out. Monday night, the moon eclipses Mars in what's referred to as an oculation. An oculation happens when a planet disappears from our view directly behind the moon. And this is visible in the southern U.S. from Southern California all the way to northern Florida and as far north as Oklahoma. The next Mars oculation visible for most of the U.S. will be on January 13th, 2025. Very cool.